Bitch. Hey guys, it's me, Chichi, and I'm back with another video with my girl Paris. I've been on top for a while. In this today's video, I'll be doing a story time on how I got scammed out of thirty dollars. Coronavirus. Well, I took my hair out. A video of me doing these soft fucks, but it won't say it's in my phone, so hee <laughs> hee. Sorry. This was literally a temporary style. That's what I've been doing. Like, bomb bomb. Anyways, I'm in my living room. If anybody has questions to where I'm at, I'm trying not to cut these. But I've tried just like button. Me, Jesse, and Ari. If, we, if they test me, they're sorry. Ride us up like a hurry and pull up in this Ferrari. Okay, so basically. This girl texted me. No, she actually commented under my Instagram post and she was like DM me with a heart and I looked on her page. I looked on her page and she sells wigs. This is her page. So I'm like, okay, so I DM'd her and she sent me these this long message basically and I have all the receipts just saying how she wants me to be her brand ambassador. So I'm like, okay, my job. A few weeks later, another girl texted me and she also wanted me, me to be her brand ambassador. No, this girl texted me a girl's page that did wigs also. She was looking for brand ambassadors and she thought that I would be a really good one. So she sent me it and she was like, you should DM her that's to be brand ambassador, very pretty, da da da. And so I did. I DM'd the girl because she said she needed them. We texted it back for good. Cool. Because she was like, she'll send me free wigs every month just to review and just show and just promote. Then the inquiries for having to um, become an ambassador were basically to follow her page, post all her brand ambassador posts, and it was to um, send the shipping information and um to follow her girlfriend's podcast so mind you you know how a lot of people do like paid promos and i'm just not a uh, person because first of all i don't like i don't really get a lot of promos like i don't really get a lot of people to prom ask me to promote their stuff well i do well i don't i want to say promote it but like model for it most likely but not really promote it so i'm like okay okay so i did all of that and boom then maybe like two days later she freaking text these the girl that texted me um the girl that texted me to be the girl the girl's brand ambassador was like she's a scammer da 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 da, da. my friend was also a brand ambassador she didn't even get no she hasn't got a wig in two moms and did it because there was a um there was two groups there was like the group that been them as ambassadors and then there was um, groups that were um, just now becoming them. So just uh, basically just two separate groups. So I'm like, so I'm just texting the girls. I'm like, okay, well, it's not that deep. They were going to be free anyway. It's not that serious of wigs. So I texted the girls like, never mind. I'm okay. And even though I didn't have to listen to them, I could have just waited. But I don't want to get my hopes up. So... I was just like, okay, never mind. She sent the question mark back and I didn't send text back. But back to my story. Um, the girl sends me all these messages. We're, we're having a good conversation. She seems like real legit. She didn't have a lot of followers. But I'm just like, okay, small businesses. I have a small business. It's nothing wrong with none of that. She's just like, um, we're just having a regular conversation, like regular people, literally. Like, you wouldn't suspect anything. And that's so crazy. Like, I'm so stupid. So, she showed me the wigs. The wigs, even like in the pictures, I'm looking at the background and stuff to see if it's different background. To see if it's like weird. Like, just, see, just like really like just looking like just to make sure that it's legit. Because she was like, she'll send me the wig for free. All I had to do was pay for shipping. And she showed, she told me where she lived and... She lived in, like, deep Florida. So, yeah, and I should have been like, um, why can't you do I could, Like, I should have did so many different things, but at the time, I really wasn't thinking. I was just all about promoting and trying to get people business. And, like, even though it, does, it didn't really bother me because at the end of the day, 
I make money, so, but at the end of the day, nobody want to lose $30 from people lying. She's like, yeah, I, um, I will send you the way for free, and all you have to do is pay for shipping, so I'm like, okay. So we're, again, just taxing, like, regular people. And so I sent her, um, it was $15, she texted me the note, I sent her $15, I showed her the wig I wanted. And I sent her fifteen dollars because that's how much shipping was. Shipping was supposed to be. I should have looked this up before I even freaking did it. Like she was, I'm like, but she was like, yeah, ship. She was like, she showed me. I wanted the curly one. I'm gonna show you guys the wig, of course. I wanted the curly one, and so oh, because it was like twenty six inches, it was curly. And so I'm like, yeah, I want the curly one. She was like, you can get another one if you want. All you had to do is pay for shipping. And I'm like, no, probably next, next time. Just trying to make sure it's legit and I'm not about to pay all this money and I have no wig that d doesn't even come. I'm like, okay. And then she was okay. She, I sent her the 15. And she was like, okay, I'm going to ship it out in the morning. I'm like, okay, because it was already like late at night because I think I was coming back from a trip. So, okay, mind you. Since that last girl did that stuff, I was like, it's five dollars. But I didn't promote her page, so I didn't I just told her plus I was already paying shipping. Shipping. So I just told her that I'm not going to charge her because I'm already paying, so that'll be no purpose. But I sure did that. And it seemed like from the text messages as you will see if you read them, she did she wasn't even trying to um send it for real anyway. She was like avoiding like me saying that. Okay, next morning come and she texts me like 10 in the morning and she's like okay hey I'm here um you live farther than I thought so it will be another $15 it will be another $15 cuz shipping is a lot and she was like I went across I went around the corner to get something to eat and drink and um I'm going to ship it whenever you send the rest. I should have just been like, can't you just send the rest? But no, me being a dummy, I sent it. I sent another 15, which was 30. I um, I sent it. She was like, okay, I got it. I'm about to ship your wig. And then it's that, that happened on like a Sunday. And I texted her a few days later and I was like, Hey, is there any updates or anything? When's the wig coming? You know, just ask me like very nicely. And then it says seen. 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 Then I'm like, she just. I'm probably tripping. I'm probably tripping. So I sent a question mark an hour later after she just sees my stuff. And it says seen. So then I text her back again, like the, a day later. And I'm like, if there's nothing coming, you can just send me my money back. No, 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 just like, cause at this point, I'm irritated. I'm like, you're really trying to play with me, like out of thirty dollars. Like, if you just wanted, if you just was gonna do it from the jump, you did. You could have just like never texted me. Like, people like that, y'all karma's gonna be terrible trying to scam people out of their money and act like you're going to send them something and you're really not going to send them nothing that's why i'm not doing none of that promote pray that promotion none of that like the people that sent me this they were a legit company that's how i knew i was going to get this hair plus they sent me the money to get this hair so um then she just sends my messages and i'm just like I was like, okay, you're going on YouTube. Mind you, I told her about my YouTube channel, so she should just, she should have sent the wig, like literally. But she didn't, so I told her. And I didn't tell her I'm posting on YouTube, but she, she should, she's going to see when this gets uploaded. But yeah, and I'm just like, okay, well, now you're going to be on YouTube, and now you're going to be on Instagram. Dummy. And still, since this day, she still haven't texted me. And this happened last month. I still haven't gotten a wig. And it's like, I really hope that she gets hit by a bus. Like, I just be wondering, like, why do people even think to do that? Like, what do you get out of lying? But, um, it is what it is. I just know not to do it again and be careless, like, with my money like that. Even though I already knew not to be careless, but me trying to be as supportive as possible. <laughs> Backfired on me. Which I would never do again. 
but yeah that was the story time of how I got, how I got scammed out of thirty dollars and don't please don't if something comes to your DM I ask you to be a brand ambassador and I'll see free wigs block them or stab them in the throat because they're lying but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this story time I'll be back with more story times and I hit 1,000. I'm so appreciative. Thank y'all so much. Like, for real, thank y'all. I just need to hit, um, um, my, I need to get my watch hours up. And it's because I'm so behind on uploading all my videos. But I'm going to, um, get it together, hopefully, before, um, the 9th, before I can, you know. But, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. On my video and I'll be back with more videos I'm about to take the rest of my hair out because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow which I also will be uploading not the process of me getting my hair because I'm be there for so long but I will be uploading after the fact and like telling you guys the process so yep make sure you like comment and subscribe once again share with all y'all friends Chichi out Purr.